My name is Benjamin. Julia. Would you like to go for a drink? You have to go. I was 60 yesterday, and... How is it then, Emily being back? What? She's... Never thought I'd be the kind of woman who checks up on her husband. <coughs> well, don't leave on my account. Who said I was? Someone's waiting for me. What exactly are you doing with me? Why aren't you with someone your own age? What's wrong with you? There's something I need to tell you all. I met someone. Benjamin. She's our mum. It's our job to protect her. What's he after? One word. Gold digger. Do we instantly have to be suspicious? I've always liked beginnings best. When you feel everything's possible. When you can just be who you want to be. When the past doesn't exist. as a way of finding you out. So just when you let your guard down, there it is. Leo up. Thought he might like to come for a ride with me. Leo! And you must be... Benjamin. I'm guessing you're... Ted. Leo! Your father's here. It's a tea out of the question. Can I give you a hand? Julia? Chivalrous as well, my goodness. I try. So, how are you enjoying your maiden voyage, Benjamin? Devon, you mean? In the house. How are you enjoying being in the house? Julia's done a lovely job. Leo, for the fourth time, your father's here. Kettle's boiled. Right, Nan. <clears throat> Benjamin? You've, uh, you've met them? Yeah, good to see you, Leo. I was just asking Benjamin here how he's enjoying the family home. Served us well, didn't it, son? Happy memories and all that. How's that tea coming along? We need to have it black. Yeah. Okay. Are we racing then, or am I going easy on you? Oh, you go easy on me. Twenty quid as I whip your ass. What a lovely imagery. Yeah, what you came for? I'm well, going for a bike ride with my son. It's pathetic, is what it is. Uh, you can talk. 
To be honest, I didn't realise that getting the divorce through would affect you so much. Your home is incredible. Your kids are so lucky. I don't look back. There's nothing good there. Why is it so hard to accept the party is over? Just guilt. Shame. This day in front of me. That's about all I can deal with. Somebody get the tacos. Somebody spark the blood. Let's start the narcos off at episode one. And even then, there's always something to wreck. again last night. Morning to you too. We need to talk about Benjamin. Have you been speaking to Dad? Of course not. Why, what's he said? Some rambling voicemail about Benjamin being in Devon and what we're going to do about it. Well, he's right about that at least. You're in a charming mood today. So, I've done some due diligence. The man has no social media footprint like none. Now, for a normal person, that is odd, but for someone his age, that is positively suspicious. I'm thinking. You and me, we follow him, find out what he's about. Follow him? Are you on crack? No, if he's hiding something, we'll find out and fast before Mum gets hurt anymore. No. Not doing it, no way. I used to do it every day. The life became a horrible distraction. <laughs> <laughs> there is that, yes. No. Uh, predates you. When everything happened with Ted, Marsha, I found myself just not finding pleasure in anything. Especially my favorite things. So I just didn't do them. See now, no. Everybody's looking at us. God, this place. I hate it sometimes. So why stay? My kids. 
pretty sure they class as adults by now, don't you? Spoken like a non-parent. They're always kids. This is always their home. However small it is. Sod it. Let's go back to London for a few days. Which wouldn't count as running away. Which it absolutely wouldn't count as running away. <laughs> telling you that I am working on it, all right? Yeah. All right, OK. Who is that? Oh, Just some uh, PPI nonsense. So where to first, then, eh? v and Imperial War Museum? Or should we just be terribly behaved and sack off all things cultural and head to the nearest bar? Jeez. Do you know what I'd really like to do? Please don't say the London Eye. I'd like to meet some of your friends. Room, bugger off. Dark horse. <laughs> Bianca, Julia, Julia, this is Bianca. Hello. And this reprobate here is Zach. Hi. Hi. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I say we devise a reason to get rid of Benj here, and then we can give you the lowdown on his most dire character traits. Oh, I think we can spare the war stories, don't you? Fine. I'll just have to settle for grilling you, Julia. Now this fledgling romance came into being. Dejala. Forgive him, Julia. He's excitable. So shoot me, I'm excited. Benjamin out past eight. <laughs> and introducing us to a lady, no less. Now, I need some deets. Is this a setup or an organized vibe? <laughs> I'm sensing no to Tinder. <laughs> it was just by chance uh, in a museum. A museum? You lucky fuck. I can't even pick up in a bar. Ned, that's your train. Uh, past tense, my dear. Scouts on him. Huh? I had a belly for one minute they let you in the scouts. Tell me his opening gambit. Oh, um, you know what? I can't actually remember. It was only that he was nice. And he didn't have to be. And how long has he been hiding you away for, Julia? It's only, uh, is it? It's a couple of weeks. No, 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 don't downplay it. You see, that right there is the best bit before the sheen wears off and the truth outs. Thank you, baby. was a cat. Very large cat. What are you doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here? I live here. Not here, here, obviously, but I live here in London. You don't. You live in LA with all the twats. It's late, Della. What I like to know is why I had to hear from my idiot brother <laughs> that you'd move back. <laughs> Talking but basic common courtesy. One text, nothing fancy. Not even a kiss. If you're still pissed off, that was a year ago. And it's a long time to hold on to anger. Just saying. But no, no text, no call, no. 
carry a pigeon. <laughs> so what? Were you just planning never to see me? You're done. For now. <laughs> that was deliberate, just so you know. Go home, Della. It's nice uh, to see Benjamin so happy. He's not normally happy. This past year, not so much, which makes me very sad because, you know, he's, uh, he's very special. Is it because of his breakup? That's it. He told you the story, yes? Oh, I only know it ended badly. He bought the ring, asked for the parents' permission, you know, did everything proper took it seriously, like he does. And then he asked her, and it's not just a no. It's a no, and I've got someone else. Oh, God. He must have been crushed. <laughs> what was she like? <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to. No, no, come on. It's completely natural. Uh. I've already spent three, maybe four hours looking at Zach's profile, checking out all of his exes, getting crazy jealous. <laughs> um, do you have a photo of her? Of course. Would you judge me? I'll show you. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Ali was, uh, well, I guess you would say pretty. Uh, Blonde. Yeah. You're more beautiful. And I don't like. Okay, you ready? Cheers, <laughs> everybody. Warehouse party, manor house. Amen. I, I, I think we're gonna pass. It's a school night. Come here. Oh, he's clipping your wings, Julia. He's not. Don't let him clip your wings. Come on. You're, you're all right. Come on. I wanted to go. Trust me, you really, really. Oh, because I'd embarrass you. Why, why? Why would you think you'd embarrass me? I thought we'd go back to the hotel, no? Oh, did you now? Yeah, I've been dreaming bathtub and all the things I'm going to do to you, innit? All of which you could do at yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was just picturing my bathtub and, and the rest of my flat, come to think of it. Look, my, my cleaner comes tomorrow. I, I can't let you sit before then. The health and safety are going right off me. It's impossible. Where are we going, then? <laughs> Sorry, then. Got my hotel, come on, surely. I have cotton with I'm paying, I suppose. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on. What? I do, I do have my own money, you know? Look, let's just go to yours, and I promise I will not charge any and all unclean surfaces. I've already said. <laughs> not tonight. It just. It is actually starting to feel like you don't want me to see where you live. It feels a bit like you've got some, I don't know, I don't know what, maybe some woman stashed away. <clears throat> Is that really what you think? 
It's called a joke. I was joking. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It, it didn't really feel like it. So why don't you why don't you go and I'll call you. It's my mum. Yeah, I can see that. Hi, Julia. Are you drunk? I thought you were out with Benjamin. Can I stay? Yeah, of course. W what's he done? He hasn't done anything. I wanted to see my grandchildren. At one in the morning? I'll just go up to bed, if I may. Get the room ready for your mum. Oh, no, please, don't go to any trouble. Oh, sorry about this. No more apologising. The girls will be thrilled to see you. As are we. Uh, Lottie's into hiding stuff at the moment. She finds it hilarious. We find it less so. You got everything you need? Yeah, thanks. What do you think, Granny? Very sun-like. Mm. We're going to see Grandpa as well. Granny's come all the way from Devon to surprise you, which is nice, isn't it? How about I pick you up from school? Oh, I think that's a yes. Mm. How are the lovebirds? Uh, I'm at your brother's. Uh, I've put you on speaker. My favourite. Do you want to say hello to your Uncle Leo? Hi, Uncle Leo. Hi, Lottie. Morning, Leo. Yeah. You're up early. Mm, not out of choice. Believe me, some dudes here to service Iago. Right. Well, you know where it is. Can Mum have her coffee now? I'm not stopping her have her coffee. Come and see us. Have soon. a good day. Oh, oh, good all right. Thank you very much. Goodbye, mate. You don't always need to be so hard on your brother. How was that? I'd like to cook Sunday lunch to say thank you for having me. Oh. No need, but um, I'll never say no to one of your roasts. Will it just be, um... Yes, Patrick, it'll just be me. So we've got nappies, wipes, a teething ring, which you will suck on for two minutes if you're lucky before lobbing it out. Um, let me... Emma, I have had three of my own. Right, Char. I'm just going to... Take her around the park so you can get your head down for a bit. I'd literally murder for a nap, <laughs> or at the very least, maim. But I have a call booked in with my old clerk. You're not going back to work, are you? 
I want a life for myself. I'll learn. Uh, uh, one sec, Del. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this is Della, my sister, and this is Heidi, my associate. So, Heidi, on a scale of one to ten, how much of a cock is my brother to work for? Mm, that bad. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. She likes you. Right. You're not. I'm not what? What was lunch? Right, well, you didn't need to. We have people for that. So. Yeah, well, I know. I'm one of those people. <laughs> um, right, hold on. Uh, first. So, he is legitimate. Benjamin? No, no, I'm just I'm waiting for a bus actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're in the right spot for it. <laughs> um, I uh, I will I will leave you to it. I am craving caffeine. Uh, he's working from home today. Not that you ask. Don't tell him you saw me. Hi there, it's um, Jonathan from Ardley & Co. I was just wondering if you could help me. We've had some exceptional work delivered to us from Benjamin Green and I just want to send a token of appreciation. Problem is, I think we have an old address for him on file. It's genuinely okay, scary. Uh, what address do you oh, have? you are. It's, uh, it's 58 Jarwood Street. Uh, no, he's 125B, Ferndale Road, B W2, 3CV. 3CV. Great. Thank you very much. It's really helpful. Thank you. Bye. Boom. You could take Mum for a romantic meal in the chicken shop. You've lived in barns too long. I knew it'd make a twat of you. The man wants to go up in the world. Who can blame him? So he goes out, finds a rich, old, and let's not forget, vulnerable woman, and then bingo. Goodbye, shithole flat. Hello, six bedroom house in Devon. Why do you always think the worst of people? What do you think? Why are you whispering? Oh, uh... Della? Can you hear me? Mum, I'm about to go on stage. Just a quick one. Are you free for Sunday lunch? I'm doing a chicken. Nothing fancy. The thing is, Mum, I... know I... it's a trick for you, but Lottie has been asking on a five-second loop 
when she'll be seeing her favourite auntie. Only auntie. Don't be like that. She's really... I'm not being like anything. I just... Yes, I'll come. Thanks. All right, great. She'll be really pleased. Sorry, Mum. I've got to go. Kid... And you say I'm a good liar. That doesn't count. Everyone lies to their mother. Fact. Call it an act of kindness. You think Mum really wants to know the reality of my life? To finish her off. Her only daughter, the proverbial car crash. It's called a joke. Well, it's not desperately funny. Well, it will fit right in with the rest of my new material, then. Del. You would tell me if you needed... him. Drugs. He's a drug stealer. I'm not giving you any more caffeine. Come on, then. I told you so, but... Actually, no, I don't. I'd love to say it. Oh. No wonder he moves so fast. Nothing like the threat of imminent homelessness to oil the wheels of romance. I suppose you've never been late for your rent. Hang on. This isn't you feeling sorry for him, is it? He's taking Mum for a ride. We don't know that. We just know he's struggling. What's the crime in that? He is nothing to us. Literally nothing. She is our mother. Well, you can't go. You know, who knows what state he'll come back in? What else we might find? Well, um, I'm staying for Mum's sake. D don't pretend it's for her. For some inexplicable reason, you seem to prefer being anywhere but at home with your wife and kids. Fuck off. I don't know what or who you're running away from, but stalking Mum's new boyfriend is a curious move, even for you. Oh, hang on. Right, uh, let me just get this straight. You're giving me life advice. Now that's the real joke. Try putting that in your next set. Oh, sorry, I thought you were... Patrick, yes, I gathered. Mum, darling, you look tired. Thank you, that's the look I was going for. I didn't mean it that way. You're good, though? You OK? Yes, Mother, I'm OK. Hmm. And you? Yes, everything's, uh, yes. Good, good. Um, these are... You really didn't need to bring anything. You've no money. And for Lottie. Tell her. Don't let your brother see. Newsflash, Mum. Kids eat sweets. Even he can't control that. Shoes, darling. Up the leg. I'm going to just, like, nibble on the shoulder. Just a tiny bit. Um, but you know what I really like to eat is... Bonbons. <laughs> They're for you. Don't tell your dad, OK? She's going to tell him. Leo tells me Emily's back. The master of discretion. That isn't a secret, is it? No. No, it's fine. It's not even worth talking about, honestly. Have you seen her? Why would I see her? That's like asking if you've seen Dad. 
I assume these are from you. You assume correctly. Dada brought us a lovely bottle of red. Mm. It's just this is a A far bag. superior wine, yes, I'm sure it is. It is lovely to see you, darling. Can I borrow you quickly? I'm thinking we do it after lunch. Just you and me. I've not told Ema. Do what? Tell Mum about Benjamin. And how do you imagine we do that? Show the picture, obviously. Which will say we obtained how? <laughs> we do this. She'll never trust us again. What? We just sit on it? Let us still we forget about it. Or we build a watertight case against him. You two are up to something. I was just telling Della about Lottie's charming new habit of hearing swear words and repeating them at full volume, and as the worst offender. Well, at the risk of tempting fate, her arse is clean and she's asleep. Can I go up and give her a kiss? Absolutely not. Unless you want to sit up there getting her back to sleep. You look hot. Oh, oh. wrong sibling, but I'll take it. Uh, I was just about to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, sure you were. Shouldn't you? Are you still breastfeeding? How long are you staying for? Uh, not sure. Leo must be losing his shit. Leo is an adult. What, a, a few days, a week? Depends. On? On Benjamin. Depends on Benjamin. I'm sure is what you've all been wanting to ask her. I was just making conversation. I'm sure you were. Uh, there's no big secret. It's, uh, we had a falling out, so. What about? Well, has he <laughs> rung you? They tried to apologize? Because it would be him, right? It couldn't possibly be me that was in the wrong. It's natural that we'd take your side. What with you being our mother? Look, you're obviously upset. I'm not I... obviously anything, thank you, Patrick, apart from fucking Boiling. I, I, I don't even remember what the row was about or, or whose fault it was. I just... The only thing that I do know is I think I'm too old for this. 60 is not old, Mum. Well, it's not young. Don't all rush in to correct me. <laughs> so it's over, then? Um... Oh, I'm such an arse. Um, I'm sorry. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Mom, please don't cry. I'm, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm just... I'm just going to drying out. Mum, chicken's fine. I can do this. Mum, just look at me. with all this, that lurching feeling in your stomach. Not being able to get anything done because you can't stop thinking about them all the time. It's terrifying being in love. You're not in love with him. I think maybe I am. thing in the world. Right then. You're calling him, aren't you? It's none of your business. The number you have dialed has not been recognised. The number you have dialed has not been recognised. The number you have dialed has not been recognised. The number you have dialed has not been recognised.
Please don't tell me you don't drink, either. You, uh, sounded upset when you rang? You know me. I don't do upset. I'm gonna go. Please don't. Had a weird day is all, and I... The only way I knew it could stand a chance of improving was if I saw you. What was the other night? What is this? Like, really, what is this? It's, it's not normal for exes to call exes however weird their day. She makes a fair point. What do you want, Della? <sighs> I haven't known the answer to that for so long. want is not to fuck up anymore, which covers a lot of things. <laughs> well, everything, really. Family. Work. Me. You. I can't believe you. A year. A whole year you've had to say this. How could I? It wouldn't have been fair. Well, you think this is fair? No. No, I don't. Just when I get my life sorted, find someone who actually makes me feel good about myself. And you do what you always do. You make it all about you. You're right. I'm a cop. Don't talk about yourself like that. Oh. There's so much. I'm gonna go. I love you. I still love you. Yeah. 
Hello? Della, I'm outside. Are you home? How was the piece brokered then? Always so dramatic. It felt pretty dramatic last time. I couldn't get hold of him and I didn't deal with it desperately well. Why? What was he up to? His foam is in his jeans and his jeans were in the wash. So... But what about your falling out? We did what people do. We apologised. Well, he did profusely, even though I'm sure he didn't need to. Most importantly, we vowed that we would not drink tequila together again. <laughs> and you, you're okay? I missed him. It scared me. Sorry, you probably don't. I know that you don't want to hear that. Um, mm. um, it's me. I get it. The heart wants what it wants or else it does not care. I tried for years to get you to read Dickinson when you were little. You refused point blank. What did you expect me to do? There was so much Sunset Beach to watch. There you go. <laughs> Julia mentioned that you had a gig the other night. And how'd they go? Tonight I do, but I haven't had one for... <laughs> Well, for an embarrassing amount of time. But when I rang, it was five minutes playing to an audience of one, the organiser. Mm. Being a comedian, that uh, can't be easy. She's a stubborn little girl, Adela. We tried to get her to become a banker. Well, Ted did. Fortunately, I could barely operate a calculator. <laughs> Plus, without the struggle, what is there, Benjamin? Nothing worth having. Hello, Della. I've been calling you, leaving your messages. I am aware. And? And I don't agree. It's one thing your mother having some kind of tragic later life crisis in London, but bringing her man-child down here... You don't have a monopoly on Devon, Dad. I never said I did. I just think she's making a fool of herself. And as someone who cares about her, I think we need to intervene before it becomes any more absurd than it already is. Patrick is your man for this. And Patrick is even harder to get hold of than you. Bottom line is, your mother needs saving. And what she actually needs is for us all to mind our own fucking business and let her be happy. For once. Do you know how much I have to defend you, Della? Even now, now you're apparently a fully grown adult when your mother rings me in a state, worrying that I'll never get a proper job, never have kids, never have all the things a person is supposed to have. I say she's doing her own thing. Let her. Good to know. So, I'm at my day job. I know. Shocking that I can't make a living entertaining you lovely people. Entertaining may be too strong a word. But I digress. I'm at my day job, about to begin the high octane task of, drum roll please, sorting the mail. When I realize something, it's my 10 year anniversary. Not of my marriage, not of my sobriety. Mm -mm. Nope, of sorting the mail. Now I, I know what you're thinking. We didn't pay to hear about your middle class existential bollocks. Get to the funnies. Fair yet, get off. <laughs> you were great. I didn't know what show you were in. They were a miserable crowd. No one would have made them laugh. Mm. <laughs> Miss seeing you perform.
a very short honeymoon period. Don't, don't do that. Read stuff into everything. I had a shit gig, I'm in a shit mood. That's all. Why didn't you move in? Seriously? You, you want to ask that now? I've had, had a year to come up with excuses for you. None of which really make up for, for me sitting there waiting for you to arrive with your stuff and then realising you're not going to show. Can we do this after a drink? Or several, ideally yeah. several. No. no, I've just come from breaking up with Alexis. So no, Della, we do it now. You broke up with her? It is a simple enough question. If you hadn't stopped loving me, which, which you claim not to have, then why didn't you move in? I hadn't. I haven't. <sighs> My prick of a father. What's he got to do with it? I was packed, ready. And would you believe this? Genuinely excited. <sighs> then Mum rang, told me he was leaving her for Marsha that it had been going on for ages. Basically, that he'd shat on her from a very high height. The worst part was, I wasn't surprised. Because deep down, I'm just like him. Toxic. And I didn't want to bring that into your home into your life. Do you really believe that? Can you leave it? Della? It's my brother, I can't. Oh, fuck. Della, where are you? You have to see this. Della? If it's about Benjamin, I really don't. They're good together. He likes her, I can tell. You already. <laughs> Do you? He was my husband. And you were my best friend. <laughs> Ever since you found out about Benjamin, you've been jealous. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I can't stand the fact that she's met someone else. I'm the one who left her. So I'm dating a millionaire. I'll take you however you can. For richer or poorer. Go <laughs> <laughs> for the richer. <laughs> Watch your back. They're exceptionally protective about their mother. Well, good reason in your case. They don't want us to be together. We need to speak to you. In private. What are you doing? What are you going to do? Break up with him, obviously. here same time next week but if you can't wait watch it right now stream the full series on bbc iplayer where you'll also find drag at its most dramatic the extravagant queer ballroom scene of 80s new york is the setting for pose series one and two ready when you are and over on bbc2 man like mobine star guz khan is live at the apollo now